leaders Liverpool, but having played a game more. United stay third. They're four points off the champions. Jamie, that was a, a game of counter punches. No better man than you could do that. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I'll, I'll get that goal. I think it might have just been going wide, but at the end of the day, it's it's scoring one all. I thought their goal was a bit lucky, but that's one of them things that happens in football. It's about how you react, and we've reacted brilliantly with Barnsley getting his finish, and then it was all about just doing more of the same and, and keep probing to try and get into, like I said, the goal-scoring positions. Does this build on that result you got against Spurs as well? Yeah, definitely. It's It's been a good period for us, but there's another game in two days now, so we'll look forward to that one. Thanks very much, Jamie. Cheers, thank you. Yeah, a quick turnaround for, turnaround for Leicester and all the Premier League teams, of course, at this busy time of year. He hardly had a sniff over the 90 minutes, Owen, but he had a telling contribution at the end. Yeah, like Tim said, he doesn't need money. You know, often when it, when it, when it ends up finding the back of the net. And um, he's a brilliant finisher. Even when he slightly miskicks it, it still finds a way. It goes off into Nzebe and ends up in the back of the net. But, um, yeah, they didn't create much, Leicester, but um, to find a way to get a result in a game when you're not at your best, you have to give them credit for that. Brendan Rodgers, will he be delighted with the draw? Yeah, he would have took the draw. If you would have said before the game, Brendan would give you the draw in this game. And certainly, having gone behind twice mm. to then come away with a point, he'd be delighted. Uh, let's have a look then at the goal that um, United scored in the second half to take them 2-1 up. Seconds after coming on, and Edinson Cavani... He made an instant impact, didn't he, Tim? Well, he did more in the, the moments he was on the pitch than Martial did in the whole game he was on. <laughs> so, uh, no, he gets on a half turn there, comes off in that 10 position, uh, makes uh, it an easy pass there for Bally, and he gets it on the back foot, and there's a well-timed run for Fernandes, and he scuffs it in the corner. Sometimes we saw Mar uh, Marcus Rashford go, uh, go through early and smash one. Hits it as clean as you like. Smichael saves it with his right hand. Sometimes you're better off hitting it like that, Owen. Yeah. To be fair to Bruno also, he played different, you know, rather than play deep, he came off the left-hand side. You almost ended up playing almost as a, as a false nine at times. He was almost in, yeah. at the top of the pitch for Man United. Yeah. He's a brilliant finisher. We showed you at half-time uh, Bruno Fernandes' contribution for Manchester United since signing uh, and his performances since February the 1st. 17 goals, 13 assists. Have a look at this. His points return, what they've done to Manchester United, um, leaves him just one point behind Liverpool. Incredible. That is, that is unbelievable, isn't but it? But look, at goal difference is better. Only one loss in 28 games. That is, that is absolutely unbelievable numbers. And that's the point. One player, you think about the impact that it's made, but if they could maybe get one or two more of those, those types of players. Liverpool mm. did it with Alisson and Van Dijk. You need, it's not quantity, it's quality. And mm. Bruno's been nothing but quality since he's come. He's the best player in the Premier League right now. Tim? Yeah, he's so effective. I mean, he affects the football match. He gives up, turns over the ball a lot. I don't care about that. He affects it. He makes them play. He's progressive with his play. He looks to break forward, runs off the ball, scores goals, makes assists. The whole Man United team come alive when he takes possession of the ball. Yeah. Let's have a look at Leicester City's equaliser. With five minutes on the clock, it has now been officially confirmed as an Axel Tuanzebe own goal. Yeah, and I think we'll see that from another angle there, but... Ozzy Perez whips in a brilliant ball for, for Jamie Vardy. Keep an eye on Jamie Vardy there. He's just in behind bias. Whips in a brilliant.